Hey, this is Mike. I'm starting a new segment on my channel where I review automotive products and accessories. And what better to start this off than an Oxbeam awesome Oxbeam LED off-road light. And this one is 1800 lumens of pure awesomeness. And for the price of this, I could not believe it when it came in. Um, it only took it was like a two days to come in it was very fast shipping and um and basically this whole thing is like solid aluminum and uh there's a steel bracket there as well but man this is a high quality light and even the the cord here that comes with it is like a rubberized um it's not just some cheap plastic it's rubberized and it fits very tight around the wires and uh, that's something I always check out uh, the way the wiring is on electrical things. But the aux beam, um, you can see that the actual LEDs are recessed there to where you can have some level of protection um, so things don't hit it there. So basically, you know, you can, you know, something can really, a branch or something like that can whack it pretty hard. And unless it gets in there in between, um, it's not really going to do anything because he's got these these pieces here that protects it. It also has kind of like a radiator here in the back with the aluminum fins to keep it cool. And uh, it does come with a substantial warranty. Five years, I believe. Yeah, five year warranty. So uh, it's v made to last. It's a very durable product and um, amazing. So I'm going to check it out at night time and I'll show you. Here in a minute but I just want to give you an idea of what it looks like and and um, just unmounted and also I'm going to quickly show you how to put this thing together because there is a little bit of a um, some assembly required as far as putting that bracket on but yeah aux beam uh, I'll just show you here's the website aux beam website here and uh, you see here but look caught it on sale and five-year warranty there's the product code but for that price it's just amazing uh, the level of quality when I actually got it in my hand and started looking at it but anyways um, let's see how to put it together all right so here it is in the box brand new and one thing you'll notice when you get the box is that it makes like a rattle noise like something's broken inside but it's just the, the, the bracket and the metal parts are kind of loosely put in this box here. I'll show you what they look like. They're in this bag. And so you get it and you hear all this metal rattling. Uh, don't worry about it because it's just a, um, just the metal pieces there in the bracket. So that comes out. And then this is very secure in this little it's sandwiched in this styrofoam pieces here I'm going to move this box and basically it looks like that and you open it up and then there's the the LED light itself and it's very heavy it's got some good weight to it and um, because it's so high quality and it's all aluminum alright and you'll notice you look at it and you're like where's the how do you put the bracket on here that's no no screw holes or anything but we'll show you that in a second so here's all the hardware that was in that bag and basically this screw right here is that's what holds this little block on the onto this the light then these screws here hold this bracket to that and then this big screw holds the whole thing to whatever you want to mount it to so the first thing you do is you look at the light here and you'll notice that there is this square on one side it's not on the other side it's just on this side here this, or rectangle more to be more precise and so you take this this screw here that goes to that, not the biggest screw, but the kind of medium one that it comes with, the bolt here. 
So you take this nut and you put it in here. Now it's a little bit of a tight squeeze here, so, so you kind of have to take it and kind of find the right angle. But it will go in there. It's just a matter of finding the right angle. Because basically, you're putting it in here and it's going to slide down here and then the that this bolt over here is going to go through there and into here so um, trying to do this one-handed it's not going to work so just give me a minute and I'll be right back all right as soon as I was able to use two hands um, it went right in so, so I just had to get the right angle there so now that it's in there you can kind of push it down in and then it kind of drops in and it'll slide around in there and you can put the bracket anywhere uh, on there so this right here you can take it and you can put it on here say anywhere along that line there so you can have it all the way to the left or right or in the center um, I don't really have any use to put it on either side, so I'm going to put mine on the center. So I'm going to take this bolt right here, and you will need some Allen wrenches. Uh, this, the ones I received did not have any Allen wrenches, so um, so you will need one. This one, let's see if it says here. This one is the six millimeter size. Okay, so I got it started here. And you see the nut is in there, and then I've got the Allen wrench there. So uh, once you get it started, you know you can slide it around right where you want to have it, and then you go ahead and tighten it down. And I'm sorry I haven't cut so many times, but um, I wanted you to get a really close view. And you know, if I just have a, like a tripod or something hold the camera, I can't really get the angles that I need to get. So that's kind of why I'm cutting. So once this is tight, then this bracket here uh, will go on here. Now, um, you just want to make sure that the angle of the light, let me see if I can set it like that, that you have the uh, angle of the light the way you want the bracket to mount. So like say the light's shining that way, and you want the bracket facing straight down if you want that, <clears throat> just make sure you have it that because if you turn it this way you can have more of an angle this way um, on the light but you're not going to be able to have it vertical down so just make sure you pay attention when you put this on that it's going to match your needs on your mounting needs so I'm going to go ahead and put that on there and get it started so you can see what it looks like all right, so now I now have them all started. Now, I didn't tighten them all the way because I wanted to show you the different articulation here with this mount. And you can see that I have the flat washer uh, actually touching the bracket and then the lock washer um, on the outside of the smooth washer there. So that's, um, that's important to have that, that sequence in washers. So, um, in order to tighten these, you just need to use a 5mm Allen wrench. And um, you can tighten those down. And so, you basically, when you're actually mounting it to the vehicle, you want to have your 5mm available. Uh, that way you can articulate this and get the exact angle of the light um, based on the mount. So, if you just want it straight out, then it maybe uh, looks something like this. Um, but you you know you do want to be able to fine tune it so make sure you keep your your five millimeter allen wrench handy uh, when you put your light on and that way you can um, you know you can adjust it the way you want as you can see in this portion of the video my music cycling between my headlights and the LED lights in which the LED lights are a lot brighter wider and the headlights which are halogen are more of a yellowish color and they don't have the, uh, they don't get the distance that the LED lights do.
And now for the torture test. As you can see, it is frozen in my refrigerator next to the frozen vegetables, and it's been all in there all night long. It's completely frozen. So let's see if it works. Okay, it still works great. But on the website, it said it's shockproof, waterproof, dustproof, all these proofs. So let's prove that it's all this stuff. So now we have the aux beam lights on the end of a pole with two 9 volt batteries powering it. So you can see at 18 volts, it, um, with the, not, the 9 volts here, it is actually a pretty bright, pretty bright light that goes out into the waves, into the ocean there. Alright, so now let's find some water to dump this in and some sand. I just want to make sure that it is waterproof, in fact waterproof and dustproof and shockproof and all that stuff. <laughs> it's getting on us, but it's also testing out this light. Make sure it's in there. Let's go ahead and get it down in the sand. You want, you want to get a little closer since it's, the water's out? Yeah. See, it's got sand. Go ahead and turn it to night shot. All right, I got it down in the sand. I also got the uh, you know water all over it. There we go. Now we're underwater. Get sand all over it. And we're also getting uh, water all over it. Yeah, there we go. Covered it up all the way in sand. It's down in there. Alright, let's rinse it off with some water. See what it looks like. All right, look at the back. Still working good. I think that's kind of proven point there, that it's waterproof. Yes. All right, now, um, shock proof. Get a shot of that real close where it's where the sand's all over it. Yeah, I got it. All right, now I'm going to work drag.
still good. After all the torture tests, it's still working good. Alright, here it is. I washed it up in the sink and you can see it does have some missing paint there on the edges, but um, the inside of the where the LEDs are, there's absolutely no moisture, there's no sand that got into the uh, important places, and um, so basically it's it's just uh, just as functional as ever, and it still works great after all the all the torture and and testing and different temperatures. It is a very durable light. Um, Oxbeam did a really good job, especially with the price that they're offering this light. Unbelievable. So check it out if something you're interested in. Let, uh, just go ahead and you know check out their website. I'll, I'll leave a, a link there. Now, um, I do not work for Oxbeam. I did not work for them. Uh, they did ask me to review this light, but I do not work for them. So just want to let you know that. Um, so anyways, thanks for watching and you know if there's any other product reviews, if there's any companies that you know of uh, that would like their, their products reviewed, uh, I would be glad to do it. Um, you know, of course I can't spend a bunch of money on all these products, so you know if there's any way they can send it to me, I would, I would be glad to um, see what I can do with them. Thanks for watching. See you next time.